Thursday night, and the big story on Action News is breaking news. Philadelphia police are investigating an officer involved shooting in West Philadelphia. In a chaotic scene, police returned fire after they were fired on first. Action News reporter Bob Brooks is live in West Philadelphia with the breaking details. Bob. Well, Rick, I want to start with the most important information. Nobody here was hurt tonight, but yet again, the Philadelphia police did fall under fire. Behind me here is the scene. You can see Rick still clearly active as police say they are still trying to hunt down one more suspect they believed to be involved. This image, a bullet hole in the windshield of a Philadelphia police cruiser, is a grim reminder of how dangerous traffic stops can be. It was around 7.40 tonight when the two officers inside of their cruiser were fired at in West Philadelphia. This started at Summer and 55th Streets. Police say the officers pulled over a Chevy Tahoe and one of the suspects inside immediately fired at them. And next, that suspect got out and ran. As a result, one of the officers returned fire. It's not clear how many times. And then the remaining suspects in the Tahoe took off, but only got yards away before they crashed. Police say three suspects, including the firing suspect, have been taken into custody. And luckily, no one was hurt. No officers, nor civilians. They're very dangerous situations. You don't know what you're getting into. Um, you pull somebody over for a particular offense, but you don't know what they're thinking. The deputy commissioner adds, even though no one was injured tonight, these situations are tough on the department, but also for the neighborhoods where they happen. It's been a difficult time for the, the police department, but honestly, I also look at it, it's a difficult time for the neighborhood. Um, if people are willing to fire at armed police officers, full uniform police officers, um, it shows a disrespect for the neighborhood and for the people who live here. Okay, Rick, and police do say a suspect gun was also recovered here at the scene, which again, the investigation is still underway as police are now searching for that fourth and final suspect involved in this shooting. From our reporting live in West Philadelphia, Bob Roach, Channel 6, Action News, Rick.